G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back out in the Bilberman track just for a quick walk. And I've got my Helicon Tex Matilda pack with me. And I'll be showing you a small pouch which I'll be adding. Well, there's two of the same pouch which I'll be adding to my kit here to make this pack work better for me. So stick around and have a look. Glad I've got the sword and arac in my pack today because here's the rain. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. So here they are, the Helicontex Compass Survival Pouches I bought. Now they're made out of a 500D Cordora, so it's going to be matching the bottom of the pack here. And let's read all this. We've got 20mm Rugin buckles. Now these are very nice buckles. I didn't know what the WJ stood for until somebody told me the other day when I put out the request. And they say it's perfect for carrying a compass survival kit. Uh, got riveted hole for attaching a compass. Uh, we'll go through all that. I'll just read the list first. It's going to be easier. Uh, reinforced construction to secure the compass made of Cordura 500. Compatible with duty belt, molly and pals can be carried on a 50 millimeter belt. Weight is 51 grams. Dimensions 18 by 7 by 4 centimeters. Uh, material is 100% nylon, like we said, it's 500D Cordora. Uh, color options: OD green, adapted green, black coyote, uh, black coyote brown, shadow grey, or earth brown and clay. But let's get that bit of paper out of the way now. And get onto the pouches. As I said, I've got the decent buckles, which I do like. And as you can see with the logo here, hello Maggie, with the logo here, it's part of their bushcraft range. And I'll turn it around, and you can see the riveted hole, which you can put, let's use this compass for now. You corded your compass through the hole and tie it off. So when you get it out, and if you let go, you're not going to lose it. You can just pick it back off and put it in your pouch again. And I've bought four different size items that may be used in this pouch with me. So we'll get to them shortly. And when I said it could be used on a 50mm belt, we have a belt loop here, which I've tucked down the back for now. Nice, sturdy, strong, good quality. And like I said, you've got a small pocket down the back. So if you're not using that, you can just push that down in there. And there you go, it's all rolled up out of the way. And then we'll come to the back where we've got the pals or your molly, your webbing attachments. So I like the design of these now they've started to do. Because we've got, this is a full one, it's just a strengthener at the top. And then we've got one of the webbing, a second webbing, but the second webbing at the bottom is a double one. And I do really like the idea of that. No, I was just checking if that one where the loop had gone in went all the way. It's not, it's actually stitched up. Getting back to this, I like the idea of this because if for any reason you put it on a two inch belt here, you can still pass that through under the top one and bring it back around on itself behind the second one. Let's take what I've got out of here, make it even easier. There you go, I've got, I've got room now. And I can just put that behind the second one. A bit awkward at the moment, let's do it from this, but you're able to put it through the second one so when you give it a good tug, it's not going to come off so your small pouch is nice and secure. This is a new one, so it's a bit stiff. One of my, uh, my others I've got there, uh, they've been used, so that goes in much easier. 
Okay, like I said, Cordura fabric, and I believe this is made in Vietnam. Let's have a look. Designed in Poland, crafted in Vietnam. Yeah, ripped it off easier. It's a little tag inside. Uh, keep away from fire, main fabric, 100% nylon. So let's put that down there out of the way now. It's got the adjustable buckle, so it can allow you to use different sizes, or yeah, make this different size, you can have bigger or smaller items inside. Now what I was carrying in this first, to give you an idea, is the old spot leaper or tracker. And that fits in snugly. The more I use this pouch, the softer this will become. So that one fits in really nice. Lock it over. Tug the strap, that's it, in nice and secure. And again, I can write tie a cord on that and pass it through the rivet. So if I do drop it, I'm not gonna lose it. And my second one at the moment I've got in here, because that's gonna stay in there permanent and that's gonna go on my belt shortly. But in here, just to show you, this is done up all the way. And I think they call it the Helicontech Scout Fire Kit. And that sits in there as if it was made to measure. Next, I'll show you, is people said you can't fit these in here, which is the flat plate. This is the silver compass. I'm putting it down. That'll go through there eventually. If I use it, it comes over. Clicks up. Give it a tug and even your plate, your silver compass will fit in there really nice. And as you can see, you can even got room for a bigger one if you want, but I'm doing that more. You've got all this space in there. Now the compass I'll be carrying in this is the, the Sunto, and is it the MC2? Again, sits in there nice. And I did a cord up from out. Hold that over. Do that up, and again, that pulls all the way to the bottom. That's what it looks like from the side. So there's four options of what you can use these for. You can even make a little emergency kit out of a little bit longer tin than this and fit it in there. And where that will be going, or well, they will, are my hip belts. So I'll do, I'll put the first one on, which is over. And I'm going to put this right at the front because I've got another small pouch I'm going to put nearer the back. Uh, just push it through. I'm going to put it underneath the middle one here. And then I'm going to tuck it back in. Doesn't matter which one goes between the top or the bottom one. And that's that one done. Now what I have on this side is normally my compass. So let's take it out here. That one in there. Again, slap that off now. So that's a permanent feature on there now, my compass. Now on this side, let's put the second one on. Do the top bit of webbing underneath the middle one on here. and tuck below all the way to the back of this one and do the second one. So that one went nice and easy and do the second one, I think, in there and this one too. 
And this is the other item I carry all the time, my little spot EPLEV, my little tracker, which is a good thing to have out here. And one thing I didn't show you was it's actually double lined, so it's not just this, there's a padding, a padded second liner on the inside. You can see it here. So you are getting some quality here. They're not very expensive. I think they're around the 20, 21 Australian dollar mark here in Australia. Here in Australia. And I got these from my normal local, the Survival Supplies Australia. So I'll put a link down below to their uh, website in the uh, description box. So just gonna have a click and have a look and see what you think. If you do order anything from them, I think it's coming at 75 or 76 dollars and it's uh, anywhere in Australia free delivery. So, worth having a look at. So yeah, that all goes in really nice. So I'll throw this on now and I'll show you what it actually looks like whilst wearing it and how easy it is to get to the pouches. So here we are, on the waist belt of the Helicon Tex Matilda pack, let's get that out of the way, compass and e -burb. Now this is going to be the most difficult one for me because it's a little bit more of a snob fit so we'll use that as an example shall we, came out nice and easy. And going in slowly. Yep, nearly there. There it goes. Put it down. And locked up. So there's a two one on either side. And like I said, I've got space for another small pouch I'll be putting here. So I'll be showing you that in another video. So there it is the Helicon Tex compass emergency pouch all fitted so that's so I've got my pack which is Matilda I've got the snug pack um, twice sack in the back now and now I've got these two small pouches on Pelican Techs the compass survival pouch now I've got one with my compass in and one with my EPO so compass survival easy so if you enjoyed the video Please go down below and click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell and then select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And then click the thumbs up button, the like button and share it with all your mates. And if you are already a subscriber and you've enjoyed this one too, give me a thumbs up and thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care. See you later.